What's up, Unnamed Untamed? We're back with another video! Welcome to the Untamed Army. Welcome to first time viewers who are just checking out the channel for the first time. Thank you for watching the videos. Go watch some other ones once you're done with this. But before we get into the video, I do just really quickly want to express my gratitude and my appreciation for all the support that you guys have shown so far. Obviously, uh, when I started this channel, I did, didn't really do it with the expectation that it was going to really get any views at all. I was just doing this for kind of a creative outlet in order to express some ideas and some passions of mine and also really just to make myself laugh and learn some new skills and, and just try something out for the first time. And, you know, honestly, all of you, even though, again, if you look at the videos, the, the, the highest viewed video so far is 60 views. And even that means so much to me. You guys have, you know, no idea, honestly, even just that little bit of support means the world, especially considering that you don't have to watch the videos. You guys choose to do it. And I know, you know, for anyone who follows me on Snapchat or, or follows my Instagram, I know you guys have probably seen the spamming of, you know, Snapchat stories and Instagram posts about it so far. Uh, I apologize for that. But again, I appreciate you guys clicking on the links and coming to check out the videos. It means so much to me, even though you guys probably already know me and probably already are friends with me. Even doing that and taking that step, again, is really, really appreciated. You don't have to do it. You step out of your way to do it. And, you know, I love you guys for that. Untamed Army for life. Now, with that being said, uh, we did the live stream the other day. I'm planning on doing some more of those. So keep your eyes out for any live streams, especially on like Sundays and Mondays where there is some, you know, football and sports going on in the background that I can kind of like build off of. But again, thank you guys for the support. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, you guys know why we're here. You probably read it in the video title down below. We're just going to get right into it. Am I natty or am I not? Am I just someone who's been, you know, using pre-workout and, you know, protein shakes to get this result? Or am I an ascended master who's been injecting my ass with testosterone? Now, the answer might shock you. Because I know you guys have been watching the fitness progression videos. You've been watching me train. You're probably thinking... You know, one or, or two different things. The number one thing that I think most people are thinking is, damn, that is one great looking mustache. And the second thing is probably something along the lines of, I wonder if he's a juice head. Now, I'm just kidding. I, I would be shocked if any single person who's ever watched a single video on this channel has thought that I was actually on any performance enhancing drugs. And you would be correct. I am completely natural. I haven't taken any performance enhancers, uh, no steroids, no SARMs, nothing like that. I just don't think um, at that point, obviously, in my training progression or in my life in general to take anything like that uh, to get, you know, super physiological gains. It's not something that I have completely ruled out, but at this point, with the research and what I know about it, it's definitely not something I feel comfortable with and want to go into. Uh, anything like that, obviously, with the risks and side effects that come along with some things like that, it's not worth it. Also, I'm very new to training. The reality is training for one year means pretty much jack shit in the long term, you know, time span of of training in itself. You know, I want to be able to, to at least get close to my genetic limit and build as much mu muscle naturally before I consider taking anything to grow additionally. The reality is if you're new to training, there is something called newbie gains where within that first one to two years, you're going to grow very, very quickly just based on the fact that you're new to, you know, muscle stimulus through actual weightlifting. So you're just going to grow really, really fast. It's just the reality. You're going to put on most of your muscle within those first one to two years, you know, years three to five. You'll still be able to add muscle, but it's going to be, you know, significantly harder, exponentially harder the further and further you go. Just because, again, you are natural and there is a genetic natural limit for you to, to grow muscle. But it takes a while. It takes a lot of work and there's surprisingly more you can do natural than I think a lot of people assume. So yes, I hate to break it to you guys, but you know, your favorite YouTube fitness influencer, this guy with the best mustache in the game is completely natural. Now I know big shocker to everybody here. Now you might be asking, well, what have you taken? If anything to help you along your journey now, honestly, I haven't taken a lot of different things. Um, like natural supplements. I mean, I don't, I'm really bad, honestly, at just remembering to take things, which is my biggest problem. So I've taken creatine on and off. But again, like I said, I would t use it for a couple months here and then just 
kind of forget over a couple of days to use it and just stop using it because it was too much of a pain to use. Then get back on creatine again. I really do enjoy creatine. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I do notice that my training is a little bit more uh, intense and hard when I am using creatine than compared to not. But again, it's not such a huge difference that I would be, you know, upset with myself for not using it. Uh, the other main supplement that I use is good old-fashioned caffeine. I, I just really generally just drink a cup of black coffee before my workouts, and that's usually good enough for me. I don't use anything too crazy. Uh, I actually kind of cut down on my caffeine consumption because, you know, previously when I started off the journey, I would use, you know, crazy, crazy amounts of caffeine. Some pre-workouts I was using, you know, early on in the journey before I started to kind of stop using pre-workouts would have like 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's just a an insane amount of creatine, or not creatine, insane amount of caffeine uh, to be consuming. And one of the things I am worried about uh, long term, or not even worried about, but one of my big focuses with fitness is my overall general uh, holistic health. So I want to make sure my body is in good shape, uh, both exter externally looking good, build the muscle, but I also want to make sure my organs are, you know, working at tip top shape so I can live for as long as I can and as best a quality as I can. So consuming lots of caffeine, I'm trying to reduce that just a little bit, but hey, I just, I can't beat a good old cup of hot black coffee. So, you know, those are the, again, two of the main things I've used throughout my journey so far. But what is this experiment about, you might be asking? What does this have to do with being natural or not? Obviously, we knew you were natural, Stag. Why the fuck would you make a video, a natty or not video, after one year of training? Well, it's, it's because of what we're going to talk about here in a second. And what we're going to talk about is this stuff right here, terkesterone. So what is terkesterone? <laughs> Disclaimer before we get into what terkesterone is and why I'm deciding to supplement with it. I do want to put out there that I'm not a doctor, obviously. I'm not a medical expert and I'm not a scientist. So any of the research that I've done, please take with a grain of salt. Do some research for yourself. There's a ton of great YouTube videos and a ton of great actual scientific papers that have been written about the supplementation of things like terkesterone and ectosteroids, which we're going to get into in just a second about what those things actually are. But again, anytime you're looking at a supplement or something to try out and put into your body, please do your own research. Just don't take my word for it just because I got a sweet mustache and some, some really cool looking glasses. It's really important to make sure that you're comfortable with taking this thing and you, you understand it properly before supplementing with it. Now, this goes for literally anything, even something like creatine. Just do a little bit of reading and research before you get into any kind of supplementation. <laughs> So I think I finally built up enough tension about terkestrone to finally get into the nitty gritty details about what it actually is. Now, terkestrone is an ectosteroid, which is something that I alluded to a little bit earlier. So an ectosteroid is something that is essentially a hormone that takes the place of something like testosterone or estrogen would in both plants and animals. So for both plants and animals, these hormones, these ectosteroids, essentially contribute towards growth and development in these insects. Now, it also contributes towards reproduction, which is why I refer to it similar to something like uh, testosterone or estrogen for you know humans. That would be the similar counterpart. Now, you might be wondering why in the world would a human being decide to supplement with a, essentially what is an insect or plant steroid. Now, we're going to time travel a little bit back to 1988 to the Olympics. So, this is the last Olympics for the Soviet Union before the fall of the Soviet Union a few years later. Fun little history fact for you. And the Soviet Union took home 51 gold medals. Now, again, Russia and the Soviet Union has a lot has had a lot of, you know, controversy with different kind of, you know, doping incidents. Now, doping using different kinds of steroids and getting around different, you know, rules and regulations in the Olympic Committee. But in 1988, one of the big controversies and one of the big thoughts was that they were using ecti steroids in order to get overall better performances out of their athletes. Now, again, fast forward to now, all of a sudden, one of the biggest and hottest supplements in the fitness world are these ecti steroids, and specifically, this supplement, terkesterone. Now, terkesterone is specifically found in a plant called the mala root, and that might be, I have to check my, again, not a scientist, 
glasses don't don't actually make you smarter. smarter. The Marla, Marla root, not Mala, Marla root. So it's found in the Marla root. So it's actually a plant ectosteroid derived specifically from, from a plant, a specific plant. Now this root has been used throughout history in the regions that it's found. Again, it can be found in Europe, East, Eastern Europe specifically, in Uzbekistan, and uh, something that starts with a T that also ends in a weird stand. Uh, also found in Africa, different parts of Asia. And it's been used historically for kind of like a healing balm. So say if you just got, you're going into battle, slash, big cut on you, they would put this root, basically like a, a mush of this root, onto that wound, and it would heal exponentially faster. And again, now we know that it potentially is due to the hormonal effects of ectosteroids. Now, there haven't been a ton of studies done with, you know, actual ectosteroids on humans, but in the studies they've done, they've used water rats, which are a very common kind of animal to you know, perform kind of hormonal studies on. In these studies, terkesterone and other ectosteroids have performed extremely, extremely well. Now, they're almost comparable to other you know, anabolic forms of testosterone that have been created. Things like dianabol and anabol. If those are the same things, I, I might they might be the same things. I have no idea. Again, not a scientist, not an expert in this field. But again, in the studies that I've I've read, they've they've it's performed comparably to some of these other anabolic sort of steroids. Now, again, you might be asking, why would we take a plant steroid if it performs just as well as a regular anabolic steroid? I mean, why? Why wouldn't we just take the stuff that's designed closer to mimic the, you know, natural hormone that that we create, testosterone? Why would we take something that's androgenous, something that's outside of us, something that's not natural to us? Well, here's one of the most enticing and interesting things about terkesterone and these other ectosteroids. So a typical, you know, kind of anabolic agent is going to bind to our androgen receptors. Again, not an expert. Now, what happens when something binds to the androgen receptors is it causes all of these downstream sort of, you know, different side effects that are common with, you know, different anabolic steroids. Things like hair loss, you know, liver toxicity, um, you know, acne, just all these different, you know, the, the rage that sometimes you'll hear of, which is not true for all different forms of anabolic, um, you know, anabolic steroids. But just these different side effects that you commonly hear is due to the fact that it binds with the androgen, recept androgen receptors and then, then goes downstream and causes all these different hormonal imbalances that result in some of these issues. Now, terkesterone doesn't work in quite the same way. It actually binds to a different set of molecules, a di different set of receptors. Again, not a scientist. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Again, I'm going to keep stumbling a lot because, again, this is not something that I'm, I'm totally knowledgeable about in terms of all the, the science doohickeys and stuff, all the, the scientific terms. But it binds to essentially a different set of receptors. And what's been found, again, in these studies and through just anecdotal kind of, you know, reports back is that those same side effects are almost completely non-existent. In fact, they are non-existent. It's not even com almost completely. They're non-existent. You don't get those same side effects. However, you do get some muscle building response to it. Some people have seen a lot of incredible results from this supplement specifically, which is why, again, I'm deciding to, you know, try this supplement out. Now, I got three, I don't have them out, I got three different bottles. This is the one that I'm currently using right now. I'm trying it out. Uh, one of the additional benefits as well that I didn't mention before is, um, again, it has other effects on just your, your, your body outside of just the muscle building. It also increases ADP, which is something that creatine does, which is essentially your energy stores within your muscles, which might allow you to train harder for longer. It also helps actually, you know, with your in intestines as well. <laughs> it sounds so weird. It helps your intestines, just makes them stronger, builds them up. They get biceps too. They get sweet fucking six packs. Your liver is going to have a fucking six pack if you take just terkesterone. But um, in reality, it's been shown to relieve stress and be a mood booster in some cases uh, just due to helping hormones and reducing stress. Uh, all that stuff, who knows? It all sounds a lot like me to be too good, too good to be true. Jesus, man. If you're watching this video still at this point and you've watched me just stumble through all this stuff, God bless you. God bless you. You are a true untamed army cadet. You're in the army.
comrade. But um, <laughs> this is going to be such a terrible video. But again, so my plan is again to, I have three bottles. It should be about an eight week, you know, cycle. Again, that's one of the great things about this product as well is that it doesn't suppress your testosterone. So with a typical anabolic steroid, something like a, you know, literally just injectable testosterone, trenbolone, anabol, diabol, whatever the fuck all these different things are called. Um, one of the typical things you have to do is something called a PCT, a post-cycle therapy, in order to help get your body supporting your own natural testosterone growth. Because when you inject yourself with testosterone synthetically, your body shuts down its own natural production because, hey, we got all this extra crazy fucking amounts of testosterone. We don't need to be producing this. We'll do something else. We'll focus on whatever. So you have to, you know, kind of get that growth going again. You have to get that production of testosterone up and running again. With this terkesterone, you don't have to do that because it's not suppressing your own body's natural testosterone production. Again, it's working in a different kind of completely different pathway than what something like a, a testosterone or uh, any kind of other anabolic agent would. So you don't have to worry about cycling on and off. Although, again, it is smart to cycle on and off, especially because this stuff is not cheap either, which is, again, I would, re I would recommend researching the prices and things like that as well before getting into it. I decided to get this stuff again to do the experiment for you guys. So what is the experiment? Again, I have about eight weeks supply of this stuff. And over the next eight weeks or so, I'm going to be taking this stuff pretty consistently, making sure that I'm staying on it training the same exact way. I'm going to try and do a slight cut on my diet, maybe, you know, 100 calories per day less just to get a little bit leaner to see if my strength increases, but we'll see uh, what happens with that. Either way, though, training's going to stay exactly the same. I'm going to see if I can continue to get stronger because that's another, you know, purported side effect is that you recover and you're a little bit stronger, again, from the ADP potential storage that you get from this product, but we're going to do a little experiment we're going to see, so we're going to be doing some videos over the course of the next eight weeks, kind of breaking down the overall experience on this product to see if I get any actual results from this, you know, kind of supplement. Now, the thing that's really enticing to me, again, is all these potential benefits, the sounds too good to be true, extra added benefits with none of the side effects. I think it's something that's extremely interesting, especially due to the history that it has and some of the studies that have been done, but the reality is it's still widely unknown what actually this product can do. Is it just a, you know, snake oil salesman kind of product that's getting pitched where we don't actually know if it'll produce anything? Is it a product that is going to help you grow and build muscle while still staying staying natty? Or again, that's, that, that's why this is the natty or not. We don't really know if this is natty or not. It's not a banned substance and it's on the watch list for certain sporting events. So if you are an athlete competing, be very careful. Keep your eye out for that. But it's not banned. It's not currently on any lists of you know legal substances. You can buy it again online. There's tons of different companies coming out with different products. But again, just keep an eye out. So we're gonna be doing again eight weeks worth of this stuff. We'll be training really hard, trying to see if we can get any more muscle growth out of this than what we would have achieved uh, if we just decided to train completely natural through that eight week time period. So again, I apologize for all the stumbling and the bumbling throughout this entire video. Not an expert on this topic, but again, I was extremely excited to kind of get in here and let you guys know about this experiment. I think it's going to be really cool to kind of track the progress and see, you know, where we go from here. So again, if you made it through all that ridiculous talk on me not really knowing where to go with that video, you're the homie, you're the untamed army, you're the people I make these videos for. Um, so I appreciate you guys sticking around towards the end. Keep an eye out again on the channel for future videos and updates with the Turkesterone journey.